Hello and welcome to another video. Today I have a Ford S Max. It's 2008. It's 2 liter engine with 131 horsepower. And today I will read and write this issue through OBD. The issue fitted in the car. It's a seat. And after reading this issue, I will modify the data and I'll put it back on the car. Okay. Let's start the programmer. For that, I will use Flex. Okay. It is connected. I will make also a screen recording and I start the flex and now we will proceed to read this issue first. You notice you have two options to read. This is what we will do and this one is on bench. But today I will read this one on the car. First we connected the issue. Usually the reading on this Siemens uh, issue, it goes really fast. Already identified the issue and the V number. Okay, now we go for reading. I will save the file, I will modify it and I will break order when I make the writing procedure, okay? Okay, and the file is finished. Let's try to write the data back. We must connect again. Okay, let's load the data. We send the files for checks and correction. I don't skip, then you'll see also how fast it is. If you want, you can skip, but in my opinion, it goes really quick. This noise, what you hear there, it was the ABS pump because you have a in connection with the ECU. You switch off. Okay. And now we will start the car. It's that simple. Okay. A few years ago, it was a problem reading this ECU, but now it's not anymore. It's so easy. You don't must to take the ECU out from the car if you want to work only on the map. I was asked how I read the SID 206 and this is my answer to you. 
I will read through OBD and also write. It's not necessary to take it out. If you use the clone, you can do it also with uh, Scanmatic clones or also with uh, KT200. Kitak, who is to buy on eBay and uh, AliExpress, can do also this job. But you can read only on boot mode, okay? I hope the video it was useful for you. I hope you learned something from here. Like always, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.